All right, this is how you find and repair hydraulic lines for these Toro TX 425 wide tracks. Should be the same for even the smaller ones. But to get some of these hydraulic lines, mainly the drive motors and getting access to reaching these fittings under here, even for the boom, you need to take pretty much the whole back end apart. So what I, you have to start with is pretty much the battery strap, take that off, take the battery out, get the cables out of the way, then you have the battery mount that needs to come out. All the bolts and everything are pretty easy to find. Then you gotta take the back plate off, and it's pretty easy, there's just two bolts at the bottom that are underneath there. And four bolts on the sides, so two on each side. They're three quarter inch, probably 19 millimeter. Uh, no difference really. Once you get that out and off and out of the way, you gotta get the fuel tank out. But if you wanna be able to run it to see where the leak is coming from, you gotta kinda jerry-rig the fuel hose back on and the battery cables back on. Then you can run it and see it. So for me, the leak was a hole. I was rubbing it against one of the hard lines. It's just a pinhole leak, but it pisses everywhere. And it went up, and then it came up here. I think it's the main boom, the one that lifts both arms. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. There's no bolts holding the fuel tank in place, it just slides right out. The only thing connected is two spade connectors for the fuel level and the fuel line itself. Doesn't really require any special tools, pretty straightforward.